Well, um, I'm excited to see what's going to come next in the Star Trek franchise. And so, how about how long do, of a process does it take you to you know, come across? I mean, you have you have all of this Star Trek history that you have to stay true to. So, how much new are we going to see? You know, new things that you're going to be able to develop. Uh, on on upcoming potential Star Trek, or yeah, but like how, how long did this one take you to? <clears throat> well, it t- it took as long as we're given. Yeah, it's kind of like how much did it cost you? Whatever money you have, we will spend. <laughs> so whatever time we had, we spent. And it took uh, me about I think nine months, ten months or so, which is for a concept designer on a film is a fairly long time. Sometimes you're just in and out with the concept, you pass it on to the next department and leave. Fortunately, I think JJ, I know JJ, um, he understands the process better than to just kind of abandon a concept. So I am fortunate to work with the makeup department. So in this particular case, since I was doing characters that wore makeups for the most part, working with Dave Anderson was so critical, not just for me, but for him and this constant volley back and forth because I would inform Dave ideas that we would like to try and Dave would inform me ideas he wanted to try and it quickly became this wonderful collaboration between myself and him and his department because without that you're just kind of either forcing things down somebody's throat that are unfair because they have to take what you've conceived and attempt to make it work and if it's not a good design so we can design plenty of things that are cool looking but don't work and it's unfair to the makeup team to not be a part of that earlier on. So JJ gets that, and it allowed me to be more collaborative with our makeup team. Now, um, what does Star Trek to me mean to you personally? Do you have like a personal attachment to it? I do, but I, I don't think it's because of the franchise or the lore or the history. I mean, I do have that attachment because as a child watching it, um, I have wonderful memories of seeing it when I was living in Chicago. But now Star Trek is a whole different thing. It's a new family. Um, the cast and crew that you work with become a family to you, and the memories that you have together on creating something like this uh, is, is a very, very special thing. And JJ has this, whether it just is innate, this ability to surround himself with like minds, wonderful people, and create such a great set. And it's a really, really fun place to work. permission to go after him. I cannot allow you to do this. Jim, you're not actually going after this guy, are you? Let's go get this son of a bitch. You are a pawn, Kirk. Sir, there's a ship heading right for us. You can't even guarantee the safety of your own crew. Now, shall we begin? Sorry. We're outnumbered, outgunned. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. I only know what I can do. The ship's dead, sir. She's gone. No, she's not. No ship should go down without her, Captain. I believe in you, Jim.